Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to theme One UI 5.1 or Android 13 on Samsung devices. I'm going to be primarily using Theme Park, the app I just showed on screen, and other methods to theme your device. First, we're going to start with theming the icons. Traditionally, one of the methods for theming icons was using a custom launcher like Nova Launcher or other options, but with Android 13 and newer versions, that's not an option anymore. Now in Samsung, you can also change your icons with a built-in theme section. So you just need to press and hold on the home screen and you can come to this screen and you can find free icons. If you want more customization, I'll show you in the next step. But this is good for basic customization. Once it's applied, you can see that only some of the icons are themed properly like the system icons and not the other Google icons. To fix this, we can use a different app called Theme Park. To download Theme Park, open the Galaxy Store. It's not available on the Play Store. If you do not have the Galaxy Store in your region, you can always go to apkmirror.com and download it from there. Theme Park will allow you to change your icons with custom icon packs from the Play Store and other sources instead of the built-in ones. Once you open Theme Park, you can see at the bottom of the screen, you can see at the bottom of the screen all the different categories like theme, keyboard, quick panel, icon, and volume panel. I'm going to start with icon for now. To change your icons, go to the Play Store and search icon pack. Here you can find lots of different themes that might fit your needs. Many of them are free, but some are also paid. So if you like one specifically, you can always buy a paid one and you can also use some free trials. If you go to the developer page, you can find a free version. You can also search free icon pack to find other icon packs. For example, this icon pack has a paid version, but there's also a free one to try it out. Once you have your icon packs downloaded, open the Theme Park app and go to the Icons tab. Then click Create New and then click on the icon. From here you can choose whichever pack you downloaded. If you see that some icons are still unthemed, you can always click Change Icons and then specifically pick out which one you want. For example, the Google Meet icon doesn't have one, but in the other icon pack I can go and choose a different icon. As you can see, you can mix and match between different icon packs. I'm also going to download this icon pack to show that the ones with more icons usually have all the icons fully themed, so you don't have to manually go and change it. Once it's downloaded, you can always change the entire pack by clicking that. When you click change icons, you can see that many of them are still not unthemed. For those, you can always go back and then for OneDrive, there isn't a specific OneDrive icon built into the pack, but you can always choose the one that looks similar. For example, a cloud icon looks similar to the OneDrive icon. To apply it, you just click the download icon in the top right, and then you can name it whatever you like. Once it's saved, you just click on it in Theme Park and then click Apply. Once it's applied, you can see that all the icons are properly themed and they all have a custom icon. You can also see that system-wide in the Quick Switcher and also the opening animations have the icon. Next, for the lock screen customization. With Android 13, Samsung added a lot of features and the stock settings for lock screen customization. So you can go to the lock screen panel in settings and then from here you can choose the different customizations. First, I'm going to start with the always on display clock. Here you can choose different clock styles and even add images.
Then for the lock screen itself, you can also customize it even more. There's new clock face options with different fonts, similar to how it is on iOS. Here you can also change the color and layout. I recommend choosing the same layout as the always on display so the animation looks smooth whenever you turn on your phone. Here you can also choose to display your notifications or not. Once you're done customizing, just click done in the top right corner and it'll save. Next, you can also change the widgets that show up on the lock screen. This will show you music, weather, and other apps are relevant. The next step will be using Theme Park for customizing the lock screen. So the built-in Galaxy themes also has some options for different clock faces. Here you can see all the different images for the always on display. If you don't like any of these or you want more options, you can always open Theme Park and make a custom one. At the bottom, just click Theme, and from here click Create New. Here you can see the different options for entire theme. For now, I'm just going to show lock screen. Here you can change the wallpaper and customize it even more. Once you're done, you can just click save, done, and then apply it the same way you applied the icon theme. The next part is going to be system themes. The system themes involve the different colors of the UI like the quick panel and other system apps. So you can start by clicking the wallpaper and style. This is included in the new version of Android where you can choose color palettes. Here you can choose different colors that will apply system wide. Once you click apply, you can swipe down on the quick panel and see everything is purple now and in system apps also the new color scheme will be applied. For example, the messages app and the contacts and the phone app. The keyword is also themed. You can change this by changing wallpapers. The different color palettes are based on the wallpaper you choose. So here if I choose a red and orange one, the different color palettes will update to be red and orange. Once it's applied, you can always click back and then swipe for new color palettes. As you can see, there's a red and orange one here now. Once you apply, it'll apply to the same apps again. However, if you want to do more customization than just this color, the next app I'm going to show you is called Repainter. Repainter has a lot more customization and custom colors you can choose instead of the color palettes based on the wallpaper. The Repainter app is entirely free, but the pro version includes a subscription that involves even more customization. Once the app is downloaded, just go ahead and open it, and then just follow the directions on screen. This involves using wireless debugging, which is built into the phone, and will use your phone's Wi-Fi network to connect to it. This involves the app wirelessly enabling a feature on your phone to customize it. You just need to enable developer settings and then scroll back and then click setup. Once you get to this step with the pairing code, memorize the pairing code and swipe down on the notification. You have to enter the same pairing code in the notification, which will allow the app to take control. Once you have the code, just enter it in the notification. Once it says setup done, you can go back to the app and then click setup. Here you can choose custom colors from the entire palette or a custom gradient as well. 
This has very granular control and the colors will apply system wide. Once you're done, you just need to restart to enable the new colors. The background color and other features are a part of Repainter Pro. The style and different color options are also in the premium version. If you want features like AMOLED and full black backgrounds, you would also need the pro version for that. Once it's applied and restarted, you can see in the new All the apps have the new color scheme. The last customization I'm going to do is quick settings on the volume panel. This involves again using the theme park app to do it. Once you have theme park open, go to the quick panel tab and click create new. You can also do this with the keyboard, but I'm going to be focusing on the quick panel and volume settings. Here you can choose the different colors on each part of the panel. You can cycle through the different colors and blur levels to change how you, it looks. In the top right corner you can also click between light mode and dark mode to see how it looks like. Once you're done customizing, just enter a name and then click install. Once it's done, you can see the changes apply immediately. We can do the same for the volume panel. As you can see, this is what it looks like now with a dull purple color, but after we apply it, it'll be a much more vibrant color.